Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And this is the Tech Travel Geeks setup video for the Amazon Fire Max 11, the new tablet from Amazon, which offers quite an impressive value for money proposition and which I purchased with my own pocket money all the way from Amazon. I'll link in the description to where you two can purchase this tablet from Amazon. And if you do purchase it from there, you will be supporting the Tech Travel Geeks. Right then, I'm going to set up this tablet without using a micro SD card. I'll do a dedicated video on how to expand your Amazon Fire Max 11 with a micro SD card in the future. But it does involve a SIM ejector tool and that uh, micro SD tray which is on the side of the tablet. But for now, let's switch on the tablet as it is and see what the setup experience is like. Now, as you can see, it is a quite a reflective screen. It is a, a hardened glass screen. Uh, and it is, in this case, quite a, an impressive display with a 2K display. So we start off in, uh, in this case, in portrait mode. I'm going to select English United Kingdom. I am in the United Kingdom. And then we'll just press at the bottom right of the screen, continue. After the setup, we'll go through here. So this has already been connected to my Wi-Fi network without me having to do anything. That's because I purchased it from Amazon and bound this tablet to my Amazon account. So we can just say continue because that means that I'm already connected. Now let's go through with the usual presentation video from Amazon and see what it says. I'll just readjust the camera here for it. There we go. Welcome to your new Fire Tablet. Apps, games, books and videos are just a tap away. You can download your favourites from the App Store or discover personalised content in you. Great so overview of the tablet UI here. Amazon Fire's launcher details. And obviously all the benefits from Prime. And yes, we will be doing a tutorial on how to switch that off or on. Okay, so that's a new video in, in introducing you to it. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to set this up. Um, I'm not going to restore it because I'm still using my 10 inch tablet, the Amazon Fire HD 10. Uh, so this is going to be used alongside that. So we're going to enable location services, auto save photos and videos to Amazon Photos and save Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon, great. Uh, I don't want to set up a child profile. I don't have a child profile. And yes, I do have uh, three kittens. They, along with Rodney, will be using this tablet with the Catalone uh, game. If you want to see a full review of that, uh, please do let us know in the comments and I'll go through how my cats use my Amazon tablets. But for now, we're not going to create a child profile. We're just going to carry on. And now this is interesting, this is a new one. How do you want to set the screen lock here? And you start off with fingerprint, so yes, we want to do that. But before that, we'll need to set up a pin. Now next up, we have the instructions on how to uh, do that. And obviously at the side of the tablet with the buttons and everything, the top left button is your fingerprint button. So we're going to consent, and to do this, I'm going to have to use my finger like this. I 
I would say the UI and the positioning of the button are not ideal in this mode, but it does work in, in, in landscape mode. Great. First one done. And then it's offering me uh, the option of signing up for Kindle Unlimited. I'm not really interested at the moment. At the moment, I'm definitely more of an uh, of a of a audible user, and that's going to be part of the use of this tablet. Let's have a look at the t the applications I'm going to use on this tablet. Um, I'm not going to install Skype. That's pretty much only for spam now. Definitely be using TikTok, Catalone, as I said, the one for my cats. NordVPN, uh, I have a subscription to them. Microsoft Outlook. Of these suggested applications, I think that's enough. Oh yes, and device information. So we'll continue. We'll download TikTok. And now we have a... This is an Amazon Alexa tutorial. And I just tapped through that one. Um, I'll do a dedicated video on how to switch the Amazon Digital Assistant on or off on this tablet. But here we are on the Amazon Mac Fire Max 11 home screen, uh, which doesn't have many apps, but we're going to go into the Amazon App Store and check for some updates, see how it's getting on and see if there's any other apps that I would like to install. So let's start off by uh, checking out the updates. So there's a f there's one update for the Amazon Digital Assistant already there. These are apps that I've already downloaded on Am other Amazon Fire tablets. So CPU-Z, so we can check out that uh, that MediaTek chipset, which is is running on the the tablet. BorrowBox, because that's what my library uses for eBooks. Definitely the BBC iPlayer, BBC News, BBC Sounds, Catalone we've already installed, Curiosity Stream. Oh, sorry, that's the Fire TV version. I'd better do the the other one. Uh, great service, Facebook Messenger, Disney Plus, Facebook, IMDb, Instagram. Netflix, Wi-Fi Speed Analyzer, Speed Test, Threes. I'm not going to install Twitter, so let's just delete that from the cloud as well. Um, I'm not very happy with how it's being run at the moment, and I won't be using that there. Windscribe is a good other email service. YouTube, I can do that through the web browser. So I think that's all the apps that I'll be needing for the beginning. Let's see what notifications are happening. So most of those apps have already installed successfully. So that's great. Let's have a quick browse of CPU-Z. See what it says about this tablet. It just says that it's an ARM chipset, 2 gigahertz. There's obviously 8 cores here of index zero so we go up to seven zero is counted uh, it's currently gpu vendor is arm but we know in fact this is mediatek um, and it has a mali gpu let's have a look at some other system details so the co code name for this product is sunstone it's an arm v8 chip 2000 by 120, 1125 pixels is the screen resolution in pixels. I believe that's actually a 2000 by 1200. It's not actually counting the space uh, below the buttons there, but uh, everything's ev as expected. 64 gigabytes of storage. Apparently there's 48 available now and four gigabytes of RAM. So all as expected. So in terms of setup, that was pretty painless. Just one thing to bear in mind, the tablet does not have Google services. And in this case, to, to save some money, I went for the version with ads on the home screen. I do not find these invasive, but as you can see, you can lock and unlock your tablet pretty easily with a fingerprint scanner. 
so it's not really adding any real overhead to your tablet. So I'm happy with the tablet as first impressions go. The feel is really good in the hand. It feels slim and light, not too heavy, and it's pretty responsive for, for a tablet in this price range. So the screen is gorgeous. It really is a beautiful screen. Let's just have a look at, for example, what the news panel looks like. Pretty fast and responsive. So I'm overall quite happy with this at the beginning. Obviously, as uh, our friend Roland uh, put in the comments yesterday, he would like to see us uh, also review the stylus, the Amazon stylus that is available for the Amazon Fire Max 11, as well as the keyboard case. We'll be saving up our pocket money to uh, purchase those accessories for the device and probably also see for a normal case for uh, the Amazon Fire Max 11 as well. This is going to mainly be a media consumption device and uh, we'll see how, how I get on also doing some media creation. I will probably uh, use the, that keyboard case quite a lot and one thing I forgot that is available for this tablet and that I will find quite a lot of useful useful is Microsoft. So Microsoft 365, I have a subscription to that, that um, is already pre-installed, great to see. Uh, that means that I will be able to uh, not only open and use documents, but also use that one terabyte of OneDrive storage that I have. So we'll do, do cover the Microsoft uh, 365 apps in a future video, as well as a series of other tutorials for the Amazon Fire Max 11. So make sure you're subscribed to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube if you'd like to see more of that content. Have that notification bell turned on. A link in the description to where you can purchase the Amazon Fire Max 11. Uh, and as I said, that will be an affiliate link. So if you purchase from there, you'll be supporting the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye from me. But that will leave for another video. Whoops, hello cat. This is little kitten Ronan, who's not so little anymore. Climbing up my shoulder, whoops. 